to my channel. Today I'm going to break down the official trailer for Pixar's next film, Elemental. The trailer opens with two fire people opening the door to Element City. I believe that these characters are most likely Ember's parents, Bernie and Cinder, when they first arrive as immigrants. Apparently Cinder is pregnant with Ember when they arrive. A couple of members of the press compared this scene to immigrants arriving on the shores of Ellis Island in the 1920s. Element City looks gorgeous, but it is clearly dominated by water, earth and air elements, as indicated by the blue, green, brown, yellow and purple colouring. When Ember's parents first arrive in this location, no landlord wants to rent to them, for fear of being burned or even just because they are different. Then there is a shot of Ember and Wade entering the Cyclone Stadium to watch a game of airball. There are lots of air, water and land elements going to the game as well. Ember and Wade walk into the stadium via a purple tunnel, and then we see two teams playing airball, the Crop Dusters and the Windbreakers. This game is kind of like basketball played in the air with the hoops moving around. Next, Ember is seen running towards an air element who is crossing the street. A taxi runs over the element, causing him to drop his jacket. In the background, you can see a street called Helium Highway, which shows that this is probably an area where a lot of air elements live. After this, we get our first look at Fern Grouchwood, who is an overgrown city bureaucrat. He has a rock for a head, a stone for a nose, leaf hair, and a grass moustache. Fern appears to be in a mailroom delivering documents through tubes. Additionally, there is this funny poster in the background that says, root for yourself. Ember in her voiceover says that Earth can be a little seedy, and we see two Earth elements who are apple trees picking apples off each other. The man says nothing weird going on here, and the woman says just a little pruning. We then see a young Wade wearing some cute yellow suspender shorts walking through a school, as evidenced by the lockers and the science fair sign. An air element janitor drops a sponge on the floor and Wade looks at it curiously. He touches it and gets sucked in. His eyes appear and he screams help. After this, we see an adult Ember riding through Firetown on her motorcycle, with fireworks going off around her. You might notice that this shop, Fire Supply, has been in existence since 1983, so this movie takes place sometime after that. There is also an advertisement for Stumpy's Log Burgers that appears multiple times throughout the trailer. Ember seems to be delivering products from her father's shop to customers around the town. She gives a fire couple some lighter fluid baby formula which they give to their child who is lying in a wheelable barbecue instead of a stroller. The baby drinks it, turns white, burps out fire and laughs. We then see a young Ember with her dad Bernie outside her family business called The Fireplace, which sells wood snacks, lava java and soul nuts. Ember's parents turned a hollowed out brownstone building into this business and the press was shown a moment in the film where Bernie and Cinder bless their new home with a symbolic blue flame that they got from their homeland. Bernie is saying this shop is dream of our family in broken English because the fire people speak a different language called Fireish. This language was created by David Peterson who also constructed languages for Game of Thrones and Dune. Bernie says that someday the fireplace will be Ember's while putting a metal apron on her. He then leaves Ember alone at the cash register and while he exits he gives her a thumbs up, reassuring her that she can handle the customers by herself. Ember opens the door to the shop and the fire people come rushing in. This is during the Red Dot sale. We then cut to some water people who are using a water slide as a transportation system. And after that we see several land element trees with briefcases walking down a ramp. After this we see Ember in the basement of her father's shop looking at a pipe. Ember gets frustrated with the demanding and impatient customers during the Red Dot sale and seeks refuge below to let out all of the fire that's been building within her. Cinder is then seen telling her daughter harshly that elements cannot mix, probably trying to convince Ember that she and Wade cannot be together because they are so fundamentally different. The following sequence shows how Ember and Wade first meet. A water pipe has burst as a result of Ember letting out all of the fire that's been building within her. The water hits Ember in her face, extinguishing parts of it, and she frantically jumps to get away from it. Wade then comes through the pipe screaming and Ember is shocked. Wade appears very muscular as the pipes have squished him out of shape and Ember 
Simba is instantly attracted. Wayne then shakes himself back to his normal form and Ember isn't as turned on anymore. Wayne is an inspector and while he is in Ember's shop he sees multiple violations and hears from Ember things her dad did without the proper paperwork. He feels terrible but has to write her multiple tickets. We then cut to a conversation between Ember and Wade in Firetown and Wade is shocked that Ember has never left there and Ember explains that elements don't mix, something that her parents have clearly taught her. Ember is again shown riding her motorcycle through Firetown doing her deliveries. Here we see Claude, an Earth boy living in Firetown who has a crush on Ember. Ember is then seen on the subway accidentally running into an earth bush like element causing them to be burnt completely which obviously really annoys them. Also in this shot you can see elements on their phones and wearing headphones indicating a modern setting. After this Ember's dad is seen staring out of the window of his shop and he looks pretty angry. I presume that he is witnessing Ember and Wade's forbidden relationship. We then cut back to Ember and Wade's earlier conversation. Ember explains that her dad would boil Wade alive if they were seen going out of Firetown together. And Wade says, why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? And Ember gives a look, realizing that she needs to get out of her comfort zone. Wade leads Ember to a fence that must be the exit from Firetown and the entrance to the rest of the city. Wade removes his shirt, throws it up in the air and walks through the fence, catching his shirt on the way down. Ember walks straight through, burning the fence, and the pair question why this structure is even there. There are then several quick shots of the city. The first is an aerial shot which features some lakes surrounded by rainbow trees, rocks and crystals. And the second shot is a closer angle of this same area. The third is a shot featuring a green bridge with a monorail running through it. There are also boats underneath and planes flying above. The fourth shot is Ember looking out at Element City and it kind of reminds me of standing on the red steps in Times Square. Notably, there are shops called Cloud9, Filter and The Swirl. We then cut to Ember looking at this view and she is very excited. Wade says watch this and he runs across the water forming a rainbow. Ember then jumps across crystals turning blue red and then purple. This is the sequence that was shown at the D23 Expo but apparently it now has new music. Next we see Ember and her father holding hands and Bernie says that he sees a change in her. I am thinking that this is him telling Ember that he trusts her to manage the store by herself. After this we cut back to Ember jumping on some more minerals, followed by Ember riding her motorcycle with Wade on the back screaming. They ride past Ember's mother Cinder who is shocked that Ember is with a water guy. I really like her purse here and her red necklace. We next see Wade's family home which is a gorgeous mansion with cascading waterfalls in the middle of the city. Wade's mum Brooke welcomes Ember and Wade into the home. She is wearing a classy white dress and a purple sash. The entrance has a waterfall which causes problems for Ember. She has to stand on a floating chair and Wade has to block the water with his arm. We then see members of Wade's family in the dining room which has a gorgeous view of the city. They are on floating chairs and they are drinking blue water cocktails. This character speaking with a green shirt and an apron is Alan Ripple who is Wade's brother and this character could be Eddie who is Wade's sister-in-law. Ember and Wade look uncomfortable here and it could be because Ember is really stressed about being in a water home because it could kill her. Alan yells out for his two kids Marco and Polo. The two then appear together in a pool playing with a pool noodle. Their names are a clever reference to the game Marco Polo which is a form of tag played in a swimming pool. We then cut to Element City at night and for the first time we can see some fire in the main part of Element City. This could be the edge of Firetown or just some fire people who live in the main part. Ember and Wade are on this balloon and it appears that they are on a date. Potentially it is Ember's fire keeping the balloon in the air. Next there is a shot of Ember again riding her motorcycle. She makes a jump into some sort of gutter which has water in it. This is extremely unusual for a Firetown location. We get another shot here of Bernie and Ember in their shop. Bernie gestures towards two customers who are named Flarietta and Flarry. They are discussing who got the rose on this week's episode of The Bachelorette, which is clearly a send up of The Bachelorette. Ember and Bernie seem happy to be working together and she seems content to take over the family business. But the voice 
voiceover suggests that she wants to do something different. While she expresses this, we see Ember again hanging out with Wade in a bubble that he has created for her. He moves her around the area which has water droplets and greenery, and she seems so happy to be having this experience. The next shot features Ember by herself next to a purple body of water. She stares at her reflection and reaches out to touch it. Ember and Wade are then seen together in Cyclone Stadium and Wade starts a Mexican wave with this character who is named Dave. The wave is awesome as it travels through the stadium and Ember is very impressed. However, I do feel sorry for the spectators who have to sit behind trees to watch the big game. The final sequence features Bernie offering Wade some hot coals to eat and Wade is panicking while Ember tells her father that those are too hot. In an attempt to be a good guest, Wade says that he loves hot food and puts the coal in his mouth. Because Wade is transparent, you can see the food going down his throat. He starts shaking from the heat and Ember looks stressed while Bernie gives an evil grin. Wade then starts screaming with his mouth wide open. He then puts his hands over his mouth like he is trying not to throw up. But it doesn't work and he burps out a bubble. This bubble hits Bernie and then it continues to scream by itself, despite being detached from Wade. Ember tells her father that Wade likes it and Wade gives a very unconvincing thumbs up. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.